Are you Reva Steenkamp at home in the weeks before she died. She was living in the suburbs of Johannesburg with her close friend Gina Myers and family. It's going to be very hard to pack up her, her room. Gina showed me Reva's bedroom and spoke of the family's grief. My dad is a mess. I think because she was living here, he feels like he didn't protect her. She SMSed that night saying she was sleeping out. And I think, you know, you look back and you, you say, well, why didn't we say, come home? Instead, Reva was shot dead by the man she'd been dating for about three months, Oscar Pistorius. He used to come to the house here to pick Reva up. So what happened that night? We all just want to know the truth. I think that's, I think that's everyone in the world now. Did you think Reva was happy? I did. And happy in her relationship? Yes. So what do you think the truth is? I don't want to comment on that. You wait for the trial? I'll wait for the trial. But that trial is months away. And in the meantime, Reva Steenkamp's friends and family worry that, as is so often the case, even with far less famous murder suspects, it's the victim who's being forgotten. I want people to know Reva. Do you feel she's been overlooked? I, I do. I feel like at the end of the day, Reva was killed. Her friends speak of a romantic, ambitious woman and believe that justice will prevail. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Johannesburg.